Okay, I'm supposed to make a quick video on how to play Dark Summer on your computer. There's uh, two methods that you can use. Um, I prefer one over the other, but I'm going to show both options, so you know how to do it. So, the first option is BlueStacks. It's an Android emulator, also an iOS emulator, so it works for both. Basically, BlueStacks.com. Scroll down. Download whichever version you want. Install. You can figure that part out. Once it's installed, open it up. And, uh... Your apps are listed here. Um, just going to make a quick note when you do have Dark Summer installed. Sometimes when you open the app, it doesn't show. Simply just click top charts, hit back, and it refreshes the screen. Now, I know some people have had some issues installing the game, so I'm just going to show you how to do that from square one. So you're going to hit the search bar. Type in Dark Summoner. This is right here. You're going to hit install. You have three options. It's going to be searching. I like to use the one on the left. If you use the Android Store for some reason, uh, when you install this version, it has an error. The game doesn't like to load. This version over here works, but the one downside is, is whenever you start the game, it does the whole loading process, like loading the uh, the images and the data and all that, which is kind of a pain. But you know, hey, you get to play on your computer, so you can't really complain. So you let that finish installing. Uh, when that's done, you simply open up the app and you type in whether you want to have uh, an existing account or new account. You can figure that part out. So I'm just going to minimize that for now. Version 2, you're going to use what's called the uh, Oracle Virtual Manager uh, Virtual Box. Um, I'm going to put the links for all the necessary stuff on the website so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, basically, what happens here is you have this file and you have one more file, which looks like this. It's the Android VM. This is basically the uh, Android um, version, so that when, you know you, it's basically installing Android on your computer, so you can play. Uh, one thing to note: sometimes when you download this file, the end here, the file type is not correct, so you must change that. Now, if your file types don't show like mine do here, the simple way to get them to do that is uh, go to your control panel. You on your uh, main screen go to Appearance and Personalization, Folder Options view and then uncheck hide extensions or known file types. All you do is you go over here, you type in OVA at the end, replace whatever's there, you check off a box will come up asking if you want to convert the file, simply hit yes, and then you can hide this and ignore that. So uh, make sure you know where you've installed that file that we just viewed at for a future reference. So when you open up the virtual box here it's gonna look like uh, this without these on the left. What you do from here is you go to File, hit Import Appliance, Open Appliance, and mine has already given us to the screen where the file is at. From there you simply hit Open, hit Next, and it's this top part right here. I choose a name, um, something that you can easily remember. As you can see over here, I simply named it after certain accounts for easy reference. So, you okay. simply hit Import. It's going to take a second to run through the whole process here. Um, we'll just skip through this. When you open up um, one of these over here to start it, you simply click on the one you want. You hit start. Loading process for the first time. You'll go through setup, which we'll show you here. For the new accounts, once you have it set up, you'll have to do this again. Let's just give it a second to run. I do not currently have a version to run for the uh, Apple, so you're going to have to talk to somebody else or I'll have to try to figure out how to do that. But uh, for now, this is just a quick emulator for the Android. And someday this thing will start. Alright, simple setup process. Start. You have to have a Google account if you don't, simply set one up. Um, most Androids already have one set up, so you want to use that. 
Um, it really doesn't matter. So anyways, you hit yes. You type in all your information, and then when it's done, I'm not going to show you my personal information, but when it's done, it's going to take you to a main screen that looks a lot like this. You're going to hit the um, app button right here, and on the far left, when the first time you use this, you want to set this up, so you hit the configure button, and it's going to be set to the 1024. You want to move it to 640 by 480. The reason being is, um, if you have it zoomed in, the program tends to run really slow because it takes a lot more memory. This one zoomed in, but it runs much faster, much smoother. Once you set it to this, hit save. It's going to ask you to restart. You're going to want to do that. And then from there, um, once you've restarted the whole thing, you're going to uh, have a search bar. You're going to hit your app button up here. And the search bar, Dark Summoner, install just like you would on your phone. Um, not going to worry with all the details there. And then once you open the app, um, it's going to ask you to install, or not install, but create a new account or use an existing account. Uh, the reason you want to use this over BlueStacks is if you ever want to rotate accounts, if you uninstall and reinstall and type in a new account, the, the A-Team has a, a system to detect that. So what happens is if you keep rotating accounts on the same device, it'll actually lock you out for three, four, five days. And next thing you know, you, you know, you may not have access to your accounts. Using this method, I can actually have all of my accounts open at the same time and never have to worry about it because each is set to a separate account. Um, so as you saw, like I had one for all three of my accounts, I can actually have all three open at the same time and not have any issues. I'm just going to show you what it looks like with the 640 by 480. It's going to be slightly zoomed in. So that may be disconcerting to some people, but the thing is, as you can see, it runs pretty fast. So I don't have a whole lot of issues with lag like I would on the zoomed-in uh, resolution. If you want to have the zoomed-in resolution, you can, but it's going to run just as slow as it would on BlueStacks. BlueStacks is nice, but it's a high memory usage thing, so some computers can't handle it. Uh, on BlueStacks, you have to have Windows Vista Service Pack 2 or greater, and it's like a gigabit of memory or something like that. This virtual box, you don't really have to have a whole lot of high demands, so uh, that's the one good thing. If you ever want to close the account, which you will sooner or later, you hit close, and you hit the bottom option, power off machine. Hit OK. Hit close down this other one. And it'll take you back to this main window. So whenever you want to start one of your accounts, so like this one, I just hit start, it would load up, and then you could just click the dark summer button. That's really all it takes. Um, again, I'm going to put the links for both of the uh, programs for the VirtualBox and the uh, install file for Android on the website and BlueStacks. Obviously, you can just go to the website and download it yourself. If you have any questions, obviously, my KK is on the homepage, so you can get any time.